Buongiorno studenti! Today I have an extremely helpful and interesting lesson for you. We're going to talk about the weather. Parliamo del tempo. Now, weather is a topic that comes up a lot in everyday conversation, but since we have several expressions and structures in Italian to talk about the weather, I know that this can be pretty confusing for students. So today my goal is to show you some basic structures to talk about the weather that you can start using immediately even if you are a beginner in your Italian learning journey. We will be focusing on some grammar points and especially on lots of specific words starting from very simple to more complex sentence structures so that by the end of this video you will be able to describe weather in a precise and authentic way in Italian. If you like this video and want more expressions about the weather, then don't forget to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment below with, or, with your request. Also, for this lesson, I prepared a PDF version that you can download for free. Just click on the link in the description. Okay, iniziamo. Let's begin. Well, prima di tutto, before anything else, prima di tutto, we need to learn how to ask how is the weather today? That in Italian is Com'è il tempo oggi? That's the easiest, more similar way to ask how, weather, how is the weather today in Italian. Com'è, how is, il tempo, the weather, oggi, today? Com'è il tempo oggi? That's the one question you want to learn. Now, I think I can hear you. You're probably, you're probably thinking, Valentina, why tempo? Tempo means time. Why do you use that for weather? I know, this is another thing that can be pretty confusing. The word tempo can mean time, but can also mean weather. Why? Well, in reality, it's not just the word tempo that means weather. The complete expression for weather in Italian is this word. Tempo meteorologico. I'm going to repeat this. Tempo meteorologico. Meteorologico is an adjective that means of weather and atmospheric conditions. So that should be the complete and proper form of saying weather in Italian. But as you can see, that, that's pretty a mouthful for us native speakers to tempo meteorologico. So we don't really have time for saying all that stuff and we just say il tempo, okay? So that's where the word tempo comes from uh, when we talk about weather. In reality, we're saying il tempo meteorologico, but we shorten that to just tempo, va bene? Perfetto. So remember the question for how is the weather today? Com'è il tempo oggi? Perfetto. And as always with all of my videos, you're very welcome to repeat aloud after me. That's going to help you with memorization and absorbing their correct uh, pronunciation and start using your uh, phrases and questions and words that you learn. Okay, so if you want, ripeti dopo di me. Repeat after me. Com'è il tempo oggi? Okay, we have covered how to say weather and how to ask about the weather. Now let's see how to reply to this question. As I always tell my students, oftentimes the answer is in the question. What do I mean with that? If I ask com'è il tempo oggi, the correct way to reply to that is today the weather is, which in Italian would be, you already have all the words in your question, oggi, today, il tempo, the weather, è, is. Oggi il tempo è. And that's the basic structure that you want to learn for expressing, talking about the weather. But it's super simple because it's uh, the equivalent of the question just in a reply form. So, com'è il tempo oggi? Oggi il tempo è. And then you add a word to describe the weather, which is going to be an adjective. So, after this phrase, you just add the specific adjective that you need. And I'm going to show you plenty that you can use. 
Now, you can further simplify this sentence, and we do that all the time in Italian, just by saying Oggi è. Today is. And of course, il tempo, weather, is implicit. So it's, this is even easier, and that's something that we use, it's very natural. We would just reply Oggi è, and we would add an adjective. So that's what we're going to practice today. What we need now, we have the question, we have the template for the answer, we just need to learn some specific words that you need to talk about the weather, to describe the weather. Those words are adjectives, words that describe something, in this case, il tempo, the weather. Now I'm going to share with you many, many words, uh, so you may want to take notes or you're going to find everything in the PDF for this lesson. Uh, and I'm going to go from uh, more generic to more from the most generic to the more specific words, and I'm also going to introduce some grammar points to help you customize this sentence to your own specific needs. So let's do this uh, as a progression from easier to slightly more complex. Okay, let's do this together. Andiamo. First of all. The most generic way you can talk about the weather is to say that the weather today is good, today the weather is good, today the weather is not that good. In Italian we use the word bello, beautiful. So we can use bello as good in Italian. So we would say oggi è bello, uh, oggi il tempo è bello, or just oggi è bello, and that means good. Today the weather is good. We literally say today is beautiful, but the meaning is today is good. Now, the usage of bello as good is something we do a lot in Italian. It can be, used, it can be also somewhat confusing. I do have a dedicated video on this topic and I'm going to leave it in the description down below. So, if you want to say that the weather is good, oggi è bello. What if you want to say that today the weather is not that good? Well, then we use Brutto, which literally means ugly, but the same way we use beautiful for good, we can use ugly for bad. So, oggi il tempo è brutto, or oggi è brutto, is a common, typical Italian way of saying that today the weather is not good. Va bene? Perfetto. Let's move on. Let's suppose you want to say today is hot. Then we can use the adjective caldo. Caldo means hot in Italian. So we can say oggi è caldo. Today is hot. Oggi è caldo. Now let's start introducing a few grammar points, a few more uh, like a more a slightly more complex expressions so that you can um, modify these, these sentences to your own needs, to what you want to really say. So let's suppose you want to say not just today is hot, but today is very hot. How can we say that? Oggi è molto caldo. So as you can see, the structure is the same. I just added molto for very before the adjective, which is very simple and very similar to English. Oggi è molto caldo. Today is very hot. What if you want to say cold? Do you know how to say cold in Italian? That's not caldo, but that's freddo. Freddo means cold in Italian. And if I want to say today is cold, I say oggi è freddo. Now I want to add a new, another word, one more word to uh, make this a little bit more complex, more uh, not more complex, more nuanced as a sentence. Let's suppose you want to say today is very hot, then you can say, you can say oggi è molto freddo, that's perfectly correct, but I want to teach you another way. Oggi è davvero freddo. Oggi è davvero freddo. And davvero is another way of saying really. So you can use davvero or molto before your adjective to make that even more than the usual meaning. So it's more or really hot, really cold. 
Va bene? Ok? Now let's get to more specific words. These are very general words. Oggi è bello, oggi è brutto. Oggi è caldo, oggi è freddo. You can say molto caldo o davvero freddo, but we may need to be more specific. So let's learn some more specific words. Allora, the first word I want to teach you is sereno. Sereno. Sereno literally means serene, but that's the word that we use in Italian to say that's clear. That's a good day, a sunny day with no clouds, the, the sky is clear. We would use the word sereno. So, for example, oggi è sereno. Oggi è sereno. Okay, today is clear. Another word that we have uh, that's very specific, it's the word for overcast. And that word is coperto. Coperto. Coperto literally means covered, and that's what it is. The, the, the sky is covered with um, clouds, and so we say coperto, overcast. So, how do we say today is overcast? Oggi è coperto. Perfetto. So, sereno and coperto are two good words to know. Now I want to introduce another one, which is the word for sunny. Soleggiato. Soleggiato. That means sunny in Italian. So, you can say oggi è soleggiato, but I want to introduce another tiny grammar point. You can use this same structure if you want to talk about the past. For example, you want to say, yesterday it was sunny. I want you to know how to do this. So, same structure. Instead of saying today, we're going to say yesterday. And that's ieri. Let me take a little bit more space here. So, we're practicing with soleggiato. We want to say yesterday was uh, sunny. So, same structure. Today is something. Yesterday was something. So, Yesterday is ieri. Now, we use the same verb, the verb essere, which means to be, but we need to use that in the past. Now, when we talk about the weather, usually the most common form that we use when talking about the weather, the most common tense that we used for when talking about weather in the past is imperfetto. So, usually we use imperfetto for talking about weather in Italian in the past. So, ieri era. Ieri era. And then we add the adjective, like we did with the present tense sentence. Ieri era soleggiato. Yesterday it was, so yesterday was, the weather was sunny. Va bene? So era means was with imperfetto. Now, if you need to review your conjugations, uh, and especially in perfetto, I do have a dedicated video where I go over the conjugation of the verb essere, uh, also in the imperfetto sense, so have a look at the description for the link to that video. Okay, let's pra keep practicing this structure, so yesterday it was something, with another word, and that word is the word for rainy. How do we say rainy in Italian? That's piovoso. Piovoso means rainy in Italian. Piovoso. So if I want to say yesterday it was rainy, how do I say that? Ieri era piovoso. That's how you say that. What if we want to say yesterday it was very rainy, like it rained a lot? What do we add? Molto. So, no need to, re to re-type everything. Ieri era molto Piovoso. Ieri era molto piovoso. Perfetto. Now let's see a few more words and a few more variations of this structure that you can use for your weather conversation in Italian. Okay, the next word I want to teach you is windy and that in Italian is ventoso. Ventoso means windy in Italian. So if we want to talk about how uh, tomorrow is going to be windy, we can use future tense for that. So remember, the same structure also works for future. Instead of saying 
today is windy, we say tomorrow it will be windy. So tomorrow is domani, domani. It will be is sarà, sarà. And then we have ventoso. Domani sarà ventoso. Tomorrow it will be windy. So as you can see, this structure, day, to be, verb essere and the adjective works for present tense, works for past tense, works for future tense. It's the same structure that we tweak depending on what you want to see, say exactly. Uh, and also, if you need to review the conjugation of essere future tense, that's something I cover in the same video I was talking before. So have a look at that video after this one. Okay, ventoso, windy, domani sarà ventoso. Another good one, cloudy. Cloudy in Italian is nuvoloso, nuvoloso, that means cloudy. So can we say tomorrow will be cloudy? Certo, of course. How do we say tomorrow it will be very, uh, no, let's do just uh, tomorrow it will be cloudy. Domani sarà nuvoloso. What if you want to say tomorrow it will be very cloudy? We just add molto. Domani sarà molto nuvoloso. Okay, let's see a few more words and slightly more complex sentence structures. Just a little bit, un pochettino, just un pochino. Okay, uh, a word that we Italian people love is the word for humid because in Italy it can be very humid, especially in summer and in some cities. So the word for humid is umido, umido. Now let's suppose we want to say, instead of saying today is humid or yesterday it was humid, quindi today is humid, oggi è umido, yesterday it was humid, ieri era umido, tomorrow will be humid, domani sarà umido. Let's suppose we want to make a slightly more complex sentence and saying that in summer the air is very humid. So this is a different sentence, but since these are all adjectives, we can use them for any sentence that you where you're talking about weather. Okay, so or weather conditions. So I want you to say in summer the air is very humid. Oops. In estate L'aria è molto umida. In summer, the air is very humid. So my point with these last few examples is to show you that this vocabulary that I'm giving you today with all these weather words that are adjectives, you can use them for basic structure sentences, basic sentence structures like the ones that we've seen so far, but you can also use them when you want to enrich your conversation with more complex sentences because they are adjectives so you can use them to enrich your sentences in general. Just remember they are adjectives so they need to match the noun they're referring to. So in this case I'm saying that the air is very humid not the weather. So l'aria femminile, so l'aria è molto umida because umida is referring to the air. Just keep that in mind when you use adjectives in Italian. Okay, Un'altra parola, and this is another word that we love, we do love this word for in summer. Afoso. Afoso means muggy. And that's the word that we use when it's in summer, it's so hot and it's so humid that really you feel very affected by that. And that's the word for it, afoso. So if we want to say, for example, that summer in Italy can be very muggy, can we use a falso for that? Of course. So how would we say that? In uh, summer in Italy it can be very muggy. Oh, mamma mia. No, that's not a real word in Italian. <laughs> Può. L'estate in Italia può essere molto afosa. See how we're combining everything we've learned so far? L'estate, summer, in Italia, in Italy, può essere, can be, molto afosa, really muggy. L'estate in Italia può essere molto afosa, and that's absolutely true.
Okay, two last words. I know it's a lot, but you can always review all these words with the PDF that I have created for this lesson. And I really want you to be able to talk about any situation of weather that you may need. So last two words, the word for, the word for gloomy. And the word is uggioso. Oh, this is a, such a nice word. You know, the, when the weather is gloomy, it's not that great, but the word is nice. Uggioso. Uggioso. That means gloomy. And if and I can use this for another type of sentence, I can say, I don't like gloomy days. How do we say that in Italian? Non mi piacciono i giorni uggiosi. Non mi piacciono i giorni uggiosi. I don't like gloomy days. Again, since I'm using gloomy to refer to days, which is masculine in plural, I will need to change the adjective to masculine in plural. I giorni uggiosi. Never forget this about Italian. Okay, uh, last word. And that's the word variabile. Variabile. Variabile, which means variable. So you can use this for, to say that the weather is very is variable in in that time that period of time. And for example, we could say weather the weather is very variable in spring. That's another sentence you can make to talk about weather. Weather is very variable in spring. No, not in estate. Not in estate. In Primavera, spring. Il tempo è molto variabile in primavera. Il tempo è molto variabile in primavera. Weather is very um, variable in spring. Okay, guys, we covered a lot. I know this one, I really wanted this to be like a definitive guide for beginners, especially very beginner friendly, to talk about the weather correctly, authentically and knowing what you are doing. So I hope now it's more clear what structure you can use to talk about the weather correctly. We do have other expressions, we do have other forms, but what I recommend is that you get familiar with these. You use these because these are always correct. You practice with these and if you want to learn more, more advanced structures, let me know in the comments. Also, I want to know how is the weather where you are now? Com'è il tempo oggi? Dove vivi? Com'è il tempo oggi? Dove vivi? Let me know in a comment below. And absolutely do not forget to download your free PDF for this lesson because it's going to be very helpful for you to review and use these phrases. Okay, è tutto per oggi. It's all for today. Have a great day. Buona giornata. And see you soon. Ci vediamo presto. Ciao da Valentina.